One of the things we've always tried to do at Integrity Music is to harvest the worship that's happening all around the world. And I don't think our job is to try to create it, but to harvest it. God is moving in, in such a powerful way, and, and there's a real hunger and desire to, for intimate worship with God. I love the worship here at Liberty University. It's, I look forward to it. Um, Wednesday night services, it's really, it's just anointed by God, and you could just feel His presence. I know the students at Liberty University have been praying for revival, and Dr. Falwell has said, this is what we're asking God for, to send revival to Liberty University. There's a movement uh, of the Holy Spirit over the past several years that we would best call uh, uh, a touch of revival that is uh, breaking out. God put things in my heart eight years ago about training worship leaders and songwriters and musicians around the world. There's a similar vision that's been given to Dr. Falwell. And to be here and to see an opportunity where we could have a Hosanna music recording that's going to go to 125 nations I think it's a great prelude for training to come behind it. We like to define ourselves, describe ourselves as being conservative in doctrine, but very free in worship. There's absolutely nothing wrong with clapping your hands in church. We're saying amen or praise God loud in church is not wrong. If you want to raise your hand and thank God for what he's done for you, it's okay. And all of a sudden, in the last two years, uh, the spark in this church is, is, is just... It's just Wonderful. I was kind of intimidated because I've never seen people raise hands before, but it's, it's, it's neat to see that God can kind of break those barriers, and you just, you're just totally into the worship. And it's very simple to explain because Psalm 22 verse 3 says, God is enthroned on the praises of His people. Let your glory fall. The Bible says, that God inhabits the praises of His people. David said in Psalm 40, verse 3, He has put a new song in my mouth, a song of praise to our God. Many will see and fear and put their trust in the Lord. What they see is people enjoying the goodness of God and the beauty of His presence. Would you now welcome Don Moen as we join together to worship the Lord. Psalm 33, verse 1 says that praise is becoming to the upright. How many upright people do we have here tonight? Hallelujah. <laughs> I've always believed that worship needs to be more than a monologue where we come before God and we say, We bless you, we thank you, we love you. If we give Him a chance in our worship and in our praise, he wants to speak to us and say, I bless you, I love you. And this song is a song that, that says, praise looks good on you. And this is what God thinks of your praise tonight. When you lift your hands up high And you sing a song of praise to me It brings me great delight Such a lovely sight and yes, it is true Praise looks good on you Morning, night, and noon Your praise ascends to heaven Like the smell of sweet perfume Filling every room And yes, it is true looks good on you That's right You bring your sacrifices And you offer up your praise You lift your voice with singing But your heart seems far away More than a sacrifice I am looking for your life Holy and acceptable Just in my sight. 